I'm going to show you how to animate a bouncing ball inside of Motion Builder. So the first thing here, I have gotten some reference of uh, ghosting effect of bouncing balls doing that. So we can see that when we start out for, for bouncing ball, the ball is very high. As it comes down, it will break a tangent and goes really fast and bounce up doing that. And when it comes up here, we can see the next bounce is not as high. And also we can see that each bounce gets shorter. So at, finally at the end, it gets so short that the ball just rolls. So the first thing what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, go to my templates, elements, and primitives, and I'm going to choose the polysphere. I'm going to drag that into my scene. Then the next thing here, what I want to do is I'm going to add a texture. So when this ball now, when it rolls or spins in the scene, we cannot really see that. So the easiest way to put a texture on this ball is I'm just going to take this right here, drag it on top of the ball. The next, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my right camera. So I hit control R. And right now it's very hard to see the, um, the plane where the ground is going to hit, especially in my right camera. So what I want to do is I'm going to change my ground plane to a yellow. So I will go up to settings, preferences, hit viewer, and then here's a center color. I'm going to go over here to click this three dots. And then I'm just going over here and hit OK. 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 So now you can see that the ground plane is yellow. I'm going to go here. I'm going to move this bouncing ball over here. I'm going to scroll down here. Get a little more real estate. Up here. And then I'm just going to align my ground plane so it'll be easy to see. And then uh, before I start hitting keyframes in, I'm going to go into my key controls and make sure that my I'm only animate my translate. If I choose this translate and R T and scale, I'd be animating my scale. But as I animate my bouncing ball, I want to follow these steps right here. T R I'm sorry, R for rotate, S for scale. So the first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit S on my keyboard. And you can see here it created a keyframe. I'm going to move it here to 15. And I'm going to go into something like this. And as you can see, when it falls down, uh, it, it gets much more wider as the first bounce. So I'm going to hit T. S on my keyboard, and now we can see it is moving. And what also I want to do is I want to turn on my ghosting effect so I can see when I animate the ball, how high the ball will go. And there's a little bit of bug in here. Have to select the there. There we go. Little bug in there. Deselect and select the ball in order to see the go scene line. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up here. Uh, as you can see, I go zero to fifteen, and I'm not going to go as far as more fifteen frame. A little bit shorter. So I'm going to go up like up here. Right, right here. I'm thinking. 
There we go. That looks good. And then I hit S. And then I'm going to move my over here. And I'm going to go about right here. Turn that. That's good. And then maybe I come over here and go up about maybe here. And then I'll go over here. I'll do right there. And then maybe I go over here. And oops, there we go. Go over here. So I like that. And over here. Just going by fill here. And here I can do one last little bit up here. And then it comes down. And then maybe do a roll. Okay, let me see how that looks like. And play it. That looks pretty good. All right, we can make it better now. To roll a bit too fast to change that, all I'm going to do is select this keyframe, drag it out, and now my roll should be a little bit slower. That's pretty good. All right. So the next thing here, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the break of the tangent line right here, these right here. So when, as you can see, when it comes up this, it will break down quicker doing that. So we scroll through the plane here. You can see when it comes down, it will break up. And as come up here, it's just kind of, kind of just floats. And then it goes down like this. Okay. To do that, what I need to do is I'm going to go into my F curves and I'm going to select all my F curves like that. Go over here so you can see better. Doing that. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this keyframe, which is this one right here. You can see that one got selected. And then here in my um, tension line here. If you hover this one over, this one says break. We want to break that. So click that. So now we can see we're getting the, these sharp edges or sharp goes up much quicker. And I'll do for each of these. Okay, let's see how this looks like. Play back. That's pretty good. There we go. Let's see how it looks in here in the perspective. And why did. That's pretty good. All right. So the next thing here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, animate the rotation. So I want to go into my key control. I'm going to change the R to R up here and hit E on my keyboard. And I'm going to go into here and then I'm going to add, hit S to uh, keyframe it. So there we go. Oops. Let me go here. Make sure I rewind. All right. So it comes down to here, 15. I'm going to rotate it to 90 degrees. So I like that close enough. 
And then when we come up to the next keyframe here, I'm going to animate again and do another 90 degrees. And then want to come down to next one here. I'm going to animate 90 degrees. And then come to the next keyframe. I'm going to animate this to 90 degrees. And then come to the next one. Animate this to 90 degrees. And then to the next keyframe. 190 degrees. And then to the next keyframe. degrees to the next one Okay. Let's see how this looks like. Or perspective, there we go. Okay, a little sliding for the, the um the roll, that's fine. So we could just shorten it a little bit to a, there we go. Or add more quick. So the next thing here we're going to do now is I'm going to animate the scaling. So when it comes down to here, we can see it will kind of just kind of squash and then squash back up to the normal shape again. So to do that, I'm going to go into go into my keyframes and change it to S. So I'm going to rewind it. So when I come down to Make sure S is selected. Go to right here. About when it comes to about here. I'm going to hit S. And then maybe do something like that comes up and uh, copy that and paste that. oops <laughs> scale in like that so I like that there we go and then when it comes to top here Uh, maybe about when it comes down to here. Boom. Go squash. About here, I'll make the timeline. It's be easier to see. So maybe something like that. Go into here. 
comes down about right here. So I hit S. And maybe it goes that. Like that. And then it comes up back into normal shape. Go to my view there. There we go. So I probably should go back and see how these look. Oops, I mean, maybe keyframe, I mean, maybe transport. Uh, right there, let's animate that a little bit normal again. Oh, I'll make it a little rounded. So when you do this, you get this kind of like cartoon effect, which is always lovely to, to get, have. So about right here. And then here, let's do the uh, comes in a little squashing stretch. Sorry, stretch. When it hits this, let's go squish. When it comes up, let's go like that. And then goes up here. And when it comes down to, let's see what we can do here. Extreme quick. Do it. And then squash. And it goes up, it should be normal. There we go. Let's see how this looks like. Play. There we go. At the end, it was a little bit. Oh, yeah, let's fix that. There we go. A little bit. <laughs> there we go. Now some more, a little more like a ball. All right, let's see how it looks like. Rewind. There we go. That's pretty good. So that is how you create a bouncing ball inside a motion builder and adding a load of a cartoon effect by adding stretch and a squash. Thank you and take care. Bye bye.